So I'm out checking this old site. Huge tree right, right back there. It's a big one. Goes way up. Anyways, I've been out walking around and um, I found I found this knife earlier. And uh, it's an old military World War II knife that I found on the trail here. And then I found a couple of pieces of material. One's a piece of material here. The other one's a broken tip right here. But I uh, found this knife, like I said. But what's cool is, is I came up on this rock right here, and I've already lifted it up because only a, the top of it was exposed right here. And I go, you know, that'd be really cool if it was a mono. And you know what? I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it has uh, edge work, or not edge work, but a uh, an edge along the side. I don't know if you can see it, but it's flat right there and it's kind of squared off. That's a mono. Pretty stoked to find a mono, especially after a while. I haven't found anything in just short of forever. So, anyways, now I'm trying to get these stupid ants off my gloves because they think that they're uh, killing. <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're little red ants, and uh, the guy has a clamp on my uh, glove there. I don't really need these gloves. I was going to toss them in the garbage, rather, not just out here in the bushes. But anyway, so these here, these four things right here are my finds. There's a little cleanup. Normally I don't do cleanups, but uh, this is actually one of the best mono finds I found in my area. This thing's just beautiful. You can see the ridge line going across. Right there it's square edge. Just absolutely stunning. Smooth on this side too. Of course, smooth on that side. You guys can see the ridge. The ridge right up, right up here. It's absolutely a wonderful find for me. Anyhow, so that's the mono. And then of course the uh, the tip, broken tip out of some kind of local uh, material. And then a flake of material here, it's just beautiful. I just love the the material. I have I haven't a clue what it is, but um so that's that.